Welcome to the Nature Just Got Real Sensational Summer Minicast Series for Kids. Let's get started. Hello, Planeteers. Welcome to the new Summer Minicast Series, Episode 10. I'm your host, Captain Jack, and if you're watching this on video, you'll see that I'm a talking small white dog. So what? You probably see that all the time. This episode is part of the Sun Sessional Summer Series minicasts, and these are shorty shows, but they get you outside and exploring, so don't forget to download the activity that goes with this episode. There's a new episode released every Monday through the end of August, so check those out. KB herself will be hosting the next one, uh, so be on the lookout for that. I think it's the last minicast of the summer, and then we're back to our regular schedule for September. So let's get right into today's mini cast. This episode is all about jellyfish. What they are, where they live, what's cool about them. And here's some scary things about them too. The number one scary thing that is most is that most of them can sting you. They have little barbs in their tentacles that they use to sting and paralyze their prey. It won't paralyze you, but it can hurt. If you get stung, rinsing it with vinegar might be the best help. Or if you don't have that with you, you need to rinse it with hot water if it's available or salt water or seawater if it's not. Fresh water like bottled water might make it worse, so don't use that. Remove the stinger with tweezers, not with your bare hand, and don't scrape it. Take a hot bath when you get home. Contrary to popular belief, peeing on it won't help, and it may make the stinger shrink so it's harder to remove. Don't pee on it. If you have a severe reaction to it, head to the emergency room. But like bee stings, most people don't have severe reactions. The second scary thing about jellyfish is that scientists have discovered about 2,000 different species, but they think there could be up to 28,000 that they haven't even found yet. 28,000! But remember that KB told us that we've only mapped like 10% of the ocean so far. When you think about it like that, it's not so hard to believe that there could be 28,000 more species of jellyfish. Am I right? Now here are some cool things about jellyfish. Number one, jellyfish are the oldest multicellular animals on the planet. Scientists have discovered jellyfish fossils believed to be more than 500 million years old. That makes them even older than dinosaurs. Number two, jellyfish don't have brains. They don't have a heart or lungs either. So how do they survive without these? Their skin is so thin that they can absorb oxygen right through it, so they don't need lungs. They don't have any blood, so they don't need a heart to pump it. And they respond to the changes in their environment around them by using signals from a nerve net just below their skin. It's sensitive to touch, so they don't need a brain to process complex thoughts. That gives new meaning to the word jellyfish brain. Number three... Jellyfish can clone themselves. Imagine if you could just split yourself in half and create two of you. If you could cut a jellyfish in half, the pieces of the jellyfish can regenerate and turn into two new jellies. Number four. Some jellyfish have teeth. The baroid comb jellyfish has hundreds of rows of teeth. They are made of tiny hairs that can pierce, tear, and pull their prey into their stomachs like they weren't scary enough before. Jellyfish have gone into space. In 1991, moonfish jellies traveled into outer space on the space shuttle Columbia. Scientists wanted to examine how microgravity affected them. The jellyfish multiplied in space, and when they came back to Earth, the scientists discovered that the space-born jellyfish couldn't figure out how to deal with gravity. Not sure if they got over it or not. Number six, jellyfish never get tangled. Even though some jellyfish have very long tentacles, they never get tangled up or sting themselves. That's because the tentacles are very slippery and only sting other prey or other jellyfish species. 
Number seven, there's not much to a jellyfish. They're up to 85 to 98% water, and if they wash up on the beach, they'll almost disappear as their water evaporates. Ew. Number eight, jellyfish can have super long tentacles. The lion's mane jellyfish is the world's largest jellyfish species. It can have tentacles at over 90 feet long, longer than the size of a blue whale, which is the biggest mammal in the world. Number nine, a group of jellyfish can be called a bloom, a swarm, or a smack. I personally prefer smack. Oh look, a smack of jellyfish. See what I mean? Okay, back to the stinging part. Number 10. The most dangerous jellyfish in the world is called the sea wasp or box jellyfish. This one's sting can scar or even kill a human if you swim into its tentacles. You're unlikely to encounter one though, so that's good to know. It lives off the coast of northern Australia. If you want to check out a picture of it, you can download the free PDF and check out 20 different species of jellyfish. You can even make your own jellyfish in a bottle. So, this week's mission is to go online and learn more about jellyfish. And maybe even visit an aquarium in your area if you can, so that you can see these very cool critters for yourself. If you can't do that, you can make your own with this Jellyfish in a Bottle project. Make sure you download the project and try it out. Also, if you're headed to the seaside, bring a bottle of vinegar and some tweezers just in case. That's it for this episode. Stay tuned next week when KB tells us about some interesting ways to tell which direction you're going without using a compass if you're a human. I mean, dogs are pretty good at this already. Now go out and have a hopefully not so stinging adventure in your neighborhood. Bye-bye! That wraps up this mini cast for today. Thank you to our sponsor, Weird and Wacky Planet. Don't forget to download your play sheets and activities for this episode. See you next Monday for the next installment in the Sensational Summer Series minicast. Thank you for listening.